uh, your match kind of changed the duel uh, what kind of went on during the match? Uh, just like every other match, my game plan is to uh, go in, score points. Um, right away, first period, I knew he was going to back off, be defensive. But I just had to stick to my game plan one point at a time and uh, stay on him, and I knew it would be there. This is your last match at Frost. Uh, how did it feel? Um, I was nervous, right? Rock in the stomach, tense. Um, it's, it's a lot of emotions going into it, knowing that it's my last kind of time in Frost. And I guess, I mean, you can say it the same, right? Mm -hmm. Maybe not such the nerves, but it's, uh, it's very emotional. And then uh, once you got out there, uh, what went on in the match? Um, you know, it's it, that, that guy's tough, right? Van Manen's tough. Um, I knew that he was going to kind of, like Zach said, uh, back off, back off, back off, and then try to, within the last minute of the match, trying to like get a lucky takedown or like a last minute takedown, and then just stall. I mean, kind of what they did the whole entire duel, right? But um, anyways, yeah, that was kind of the... Zach, how did you feel heading into your, your heading into knowing that it was uh, your last match at Frost? Uh, yeah, definitely nervous and excited. Um, it's awesome to wrestle in Frost with all our fans, and I feel like they showed up tonight. They were rowdy, and it was a good time. Yeah, tonight you guys had a great crowd, the rivalry. What was it like while you guys were wrestling with the, that atmosphere? It definitely helps. I mean, when they're screaming, screaming at the ref, and I mean, just they're behind you 100%, and that it really motivates you to wrestle hard out there. Heading into the Big 12 meet, uh, uh, how do you guys feel? Heading about into it? Team. Yeah, oh, about the team? Yeah, or I guess individually and then about the team. Yeah, um, I got it, okay. So, I mean, the team's, the team's great, right? I think we could get many, many guys through to the national tournament, and uh, that's not an exaggeration, you know? Looking at how we've competed throughout the, the year, the season, um, everybody has, has the ability within them. You know, we got young guys, we got old timers like us. Everybody's capable, man. Everybody is. So, it's uh, it's about which which person decides to show up, and I know that we can show up. Uh, that sucks. Uh, <laughs> <coughs> I guess we could start there. Um, so we knew we knew it was going to be uh, a scrap. Of, you know, um, on paper five five. Uh, on paper, the five that we had and the five that they had was a little different than tonight. <clears throat> um, you know, we got, I, I, I feel we got upset up, I, we got set upset at 125. Um, and then, you know, they kind of had a little bit of momentum going into uh, 33, even 41. Uh, we had to kind of bring that back. Uh, you know, <clears throat> I was telling our guys this, uh, you know, after 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 the match, and I said, guys, we let the emotions and everything get away from us tonight. Uh, you know, NDSU, this is their Super Bowl. Okay, this is the biggest thing of of their year, and for us, I want all Americans and national champions. That 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 that's what I want. Okay, I mean, is it nice? To, would it be nice to beat NDSU in the Border Belt? Absolutely, and and we want to. Um, but some of our guys focused so heavily on that tonight that it ended up costing them <clears throat> uh, with the emotional side. So, uh, you know, there was there was some there were some matches that uh, kind of got got away from us. We knew in certain situations it was going to be tough, um, and then we had to mix our lineup again tonight. And uh, you know, it, it worked in our favor. Um, you know. Uh, if I'm a betting man, and uh, I'd bet the farm on 174 pounds that, uh, I mean, from my angle, I thought he was pinned, but hey, I'm not the ref. Uh, you, you know, you, you pick up little things like that, and you have a different outcome. Uh, but bottom line is, I thought the, 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 the five guys that won, they went out there, they scrapped. Uh, even in some of the losses, they fought hard. And uh, it's disappointing. It's disappointing for, you know, the, some of the seniors on, on this team, you know, our six seniors, two of them that were in the starting lineup. Uh, you know, you, you want to go out on a win for them. Um, but, you know, it, again, this is not the end of our season. Uh, you know, we got to gear up and get ready for Big 12s and NCAAs. So this is, uh, again, part of the process. You guys got down 16 to 6. How are you feeling at that point? Uh, not good. Uh, you know, you're down. You're down 16-6. 
uh, that's after 165. <clears throat> um, and then you're rolling into 174 pounds, you know, looking at it. <clears throat> um, you know, there was, a, there was a possibility of bump and cook up. Uh, we've talked about it and uh, watching a lot of the matches with Weber and Weber's not afraid to go upstairs. You know, there's no question about it. And let me tell you right now, there's no guy in the country that I'd rather have than Tanner Cook if someone wants to go toe to toe. And uh, so with that matchup, we're figuring, you know, we need big points. And gosh darn it, you know, he's out there. And I mean, I don't know how many throws, a minute and a half, and the score's 10 points or, or, or something like that. Um, probably had him pinned two times, and, 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 and you know, it, it didn't happen. So, um, uh, you know, there's not a, a, another guy that w when style matchups are good. Oh my goodness, I'll, I'll 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 take it all day. So you know, I knew I knew we were okay. Uh, we were going to get points, and we did. And then um, you know, you, you you're starting to get into your horses. You know, with 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 Carlson and and, and Sloan. Um, hats off to them at 97. They did a great job of just doing nothing and slowing us down. I mean, that's that 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 was their goal. Uh, we tried to do that in the matches we were outmatched, and we didn't tonight. Where we have in the past. You know, we give up two techs. Was it two techs? I think we gave up two technical falls. Uh, I mean, I don't, uh, and again, my, I have a very short memory, but I don't know the last time we gave up two tech falls in a duel, right? Um, so he did a great job and did not give up bonus points. So, um, you know, it, it's, a, it's a tough one, man. It's a tough one because this, this is, uh, you know, the last duel of the year. You know, regardless of who is against, it's the last duel of the year, and 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 you want to go out on a win. Both your seniors picked up wins tonight. Uh, just talk about what they've done throughout their career. Um, you know, my, my my two years here, two years with Henry, two years with Zach. Uh, you know, Henry was a, a returning national qualifier when I got here, and um, you know he, he he's gotten better. He's gotten better. Uh, I mean, some polls. I mean, he's top. He's top, top eight, top nine in the country. <clears throat> uh, so he, he's continually getting better. He's very stingy, uh, you know, when he's out there wrestling. And you know, he, he he puts in what he needs to to get those, you know, get the results. Um, guy like Zach Carlson, uh, you know, he I think he was a backup the year before I got here, and and you know, at a hundred and I don't know, maybe one sixty five, one seventy four, you know, one of those weights or one ninety seven, um, and then uh, you know he he comes in and and he's a guy he keeps his head down, he works hard, and uh, you know to see his progress, um, you know, last year he was arguably a match away from going to the national tournament. Um, and just to see how much he's grown, uh, you know, in, in, I mean, th th there, there are some polls out there that, I mean, he's a top 10 guy, you know, up to 15. Uh, so, you know, it's just nice to see, um, you know, those two individuals particularly that uh, are ma making those progress, making that progress and uh, just doing the things they need to do, uh, not only to be successful uh, on the mat, but also, you know, in the classroom in life, so um, you know, it's huge. They're they're they're, they're good. Uh, they're good role models. You head into the Big 12s. How do you feel about your team? Um, I think we need to uh, really, really uh, make some adjustments. Um, you know, this this last week was not ideal uh, for us. You know, with uh, you know some of our guys, you know, for one reason or another, you know, whether it be you know, just a little dinged up or 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 a little sick, and and we need a couple of days to kind of lay low and recoup and and, and kind of recharge the batteries a little bit, and then uh, you know we're gonna we're gonna take this week and really get after it, and, and it's it's a nice nice training period for us because we don't compete next weekend, and then we can start to taper down and really focus on on the Big 12 tournament. Um, <clears throat> again, it, it would be nice to go into Big 12s with another dual meet win for sure, no doubt about it, um, but we didn't and life moves on and we need to prepare for the, the Big 12s. Um, I, I, I told them before I came in here, I say, hey guys, I'll lose to NDSU and I'll, put, and I'll take All-Americans and National Champions all day long. 
you know um, that is that is that that is the the goal for these kids you know the the, the pinnacle of our sport is getting on that podium and, and being a national champion you know it, it's not beating Oklahoma State in a duel you know I mean I, I mean that's that's the truth and uh, so you know I, I want these guys to focus on you know the next step and what we need to do for them to reach their goals. And that's the Big 12 tournament. And we're going to do that. We're going to prepare. We're going to rest up uh, in the short term. We're going to prepare and get these guys ready to go for Big 12 season. So I'm a Big 12 uh, competition.